Wow. You see it jump down the vapor trail, that unburned fuel. Sweet. Greetings, it's Jake Wizard 4 and here I am at Faraday Studios where we produce Midnight Science Club and I thought what we could do today, you know, the purpose of having you here is to sharpen your science skills. I want you to learn how to think like a scientist and then practice those. We're going to use things you can find around the house, candles and smoke. We're going to do some smoke science today. In order to do this activity, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a candle, some matches, and if you're a young person, you're going to need to get your parents' permission. I'm talking to you. Yes, get your parents' permission to do this. I love doing this stuff. Let's try some. Bring on the smoke. Now, believe it or not, this old wizard has done this activity for over 50 years. I'm getting pretty good at it. It takes a lot of practice. Now, I want you to observe, like a scientist, what happens. I'm going to blow out the candle. Ooh, did you notice something? Now, watch it. I'll do it again. Did you see that? Did you see the flame jump back to the candle? One more time. Whoop. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Michael Faraday did this in 1827 to explain the nature of a candle. He called it the chemical history of a candle. And Faraday demonstrated it wasn't the solid wax that was burning, nor was it the liquid pool that was burning, but it was the vapor, liquid going up the candle wick and evaporating. And you can make that flame jump back via that trail of unburned fuel. So this is an activity you can practice and you can make up a story about the ghost jumping, making the flame jump or whatever you want for fun. But it's a neat activity to do when you're locked up in the house on a cold day and you've got some candles. Yeah. They say Faraday can make it jump six inches. I haven't been able to do that yet. I'm not three, three inches is about my maximum so far. See if you can beat that. Oh, that was about two inches right there. That's not bad. So you try this at home. Make the candle flame jump down the trail of unburned fuel. <laughs> and you have to come up with your own technique. Well, I could do this all day and use all the matches in the house, but I'd probably better not. I'll get in trouble. 